<coughs> oh, excuse me. Hello, Libra. Sorry about that. Hello, Libra, and welcome to your reading with me, Jackie Hill on Romany Tarot. Okay, so I've pre pulled your um, oracle cards, and I will be doing reading some cards from the uh, fairy tarot for you to uh, sort of clarify each card, have a look at each card for you. Okay, so let's make a start on your reading, Libra. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this adventure card here you have. Okay, it's the number 55, which adds up to 10. So maybe 10 is of some significance for some of you. But um, just in general, the um, adventure card here, I'll just uh, have a look at this from this book. This card, let me have a look, pull it in this sand, it might be a bit easier. Okay, so this card indicates a need to see your life as an adventure. No one knows what will happen tomorrow, so why not make the most of today? By drawing this card, you, you're being encouraged to step out of the rut of your everyday life, to experience exciting new things. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic, just a couple of minor adjustments can add to a little adventure and zing. Um, this is a time to be inquisitive and daring. You might want to rearrange your furniture or experiment with new styles of clothing. Perhaps you could eat a different type of food to take up a new hobby or go on an overseas voyage. Sometimes a new Vision, sorry, sometimes a new version of something familiar is enough to shake things up. Even a random act of kindness can be an adventure in itself. All right, so that's just a little bit about that card. But what I'm picking up here is uh, your life is an adventure. So whatever you're doing, you know, look at it as a new experience, a new adventure you know, whatever it is that you're doing at the moment. Sort of enjoy it as well. But I'm also picking up with you as well, Libra, that you could be maybe uh, taking on a lot, you know, sort of taking on a lot, like maybe more than you, you, more than you can handle, all right? Because when I look at this card here that came out for you, you have the devotion card. A very strong connection here because you also have the twin flame card as well so you have a very strong connection with somebody uh, whether it's a uh, devotion obviously in your marriage it could be in your work in a partnership anything like that all right so I just wanted to read a little bit about this devotion card and uh, let's have a look because this is a uh, Saturn in Libra, which is your sign, of course. So Saturn is the, is the planet of ambition, and we also have uh, Libra. So that's to do with having like a sense of justice and beauty and balance and stuff like that. So if we look in a reading, this card indicates the danger that the questionnaire may, in a desire to please all, promise more than he or she can possibly achieve. This results in a hopeless situation of attempting to meet obligations that cannot be successfully completed. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I just think that you you could be dealing with more than you can choose sort of thing, uh, Libra, in a way, sort of taking on a lot. But uh, here you have, and I'm going from one card to the next, but it's just like the vibes I'm picking up with these cards as well. Uh, you have the teacher card here. So whatever your relationship is, whether it's with family, whether it's with work, whether it's in a marriage, a partner, you know, a relationship, uh, I think you're learning a lot from each other with this teacher card uh, and you've learned a lot from each other or something or somebody's learning a lot from you or vice versa. All right. But here, if we look at this card, if we see the birds there and of course we have... Um, Let's just pick up this twin flame card as well. All right, so we have the moon, we have the sun, 
all right so two aspects the dark and the light all right we have yin and yang here and this card as well with the twin flame says yin yang uh, balance union duality coupling uh, complement each other all right so a, a, a very good match here with you and somebody else okay but also when i see this bird let me just point it out to you if we look at this card i see this bird flat out on the floor <laughs> okay exhaustion all right really uh sort of doing more than uh doing more than you you you're doing too much at the moment so, uh, you know, it's going to leave you pretty tired, exhausted and uh, lacking in energy. All right. And also taking on a little bit more than, uh, as I say, than you can chew at this moment. Maybe it's things that you said you can do, you can't actually get round to doing things, certain things. All right. You also have this family room card. So some a deep connection here. Uh, very much so with the family. So I think a lot happens in this room uh, for you, Libra, uh, whether it's with your like immediate family, you know, mum, dad, sisters, brothers. It could be your husband, your children, anything like that. So a lot goes on in this room, a lot of conversations, a lot of, you know, sort of like uh, time together with uh, people that are important to you. Uh, a lot of discussions as well especially when it comes to work and business. Oh, excuse me. All right, so let's have a look. I'm just going to pull some tarot now on top of these cards and uh, and see what comes over for you. I said I'm pulling from the fair, fairy tarot deck if I can get the words out as usual <laughs> tongue twisted right let's have a look one more shuffle right, let's cut the cards and see what we have for Libra right Libra your first card we're gonna have a look at adventure so let's see what card. Okay, so you have the uh, King of Summer. All right, so this uh, is, if it's a person for you, um, this is an honourable person, devoted, mature, warm-hearted. And also, if we look at the King, Kings of Cups, there's sort of, you know, generos generosity, there's support here uh, with the King of Cups, uh, keeping, keeping the peace, someone that likes to keep the peace. This is also about emotional security, all right? And a very calming influence here as well. So if it's you that has a calming influence on somebody else or they have a calming influence on you. Okay. So let's have a look at the family room. Okay, the nine of autumn, which is the nine of coins. So that's lovely. Uh, very much a... Uh, as I say, financially independent with the nine of autumn, which is the nine of coins. So reward yourself for all the hard work. So don't forget to sort of treat yourself and, uh, you know, being happy and successfully self-employed, uh, cherishing uh, some time alone as well. All right. So maybe you need to, I think just generally you need to maybe step back a bit and uh, maybe take a, a little rest or a little break, anything like that, especially if you've been really busy. Maybe you need to spend time with the family, maybe a little bit more time with your family, doing things together. You know, anything, anything like that. All right, so let's have a look what we have with the uh, teacher. We have the four of summer. Okay, so the Four of Summer is the Four of Cups, all right? So if, if you are sort of physically or mentally exhausted at this time, especially if you're trying to take on uh, quite a bit, as I say, this one is with the teacher, maybe you're overdoing things, um, you know, you maybe you're trying to 
get yourself up to speed about something that you uh, like doing. It could be your work, your business, anything like that, you know, really trying to keep on top of things, um, even like studying, you know, anything in, in that sort of aspect, studying about something, sort of really sort of preparing yourself. But with the Four of Summer, which is the Four of Cups, this is being uh, distracted. And I'll do it with this card in particular. It says being distracted and for failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontentment with life. Um, so for you, maybe... Uh, I just want to say uh, taking someone for granted. I mean, this could be someone taking you for granted as well, Libra. All right. That you just got always going to sort of save the day or always be there to sort of pick things up. That's what that's just the uh, the sort of vibe I'm sort of getting from this. Um, yeah, I think you're the sort of tower of strength in uh Maybe this coupling or this, uh, whatever it is, this relationship or partnership. Right, let's have a look at the devotion card now. Okay, we carry on. So now we have the four and now we have the seven of summer. So with, this is the seven of cups in the tarot. So here it's the seven of summer. So this card in particular, it says, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. All right. So, uh, yeah, maybe there's, there's a decision that you need to make here. Um, because of your devotion and, you're, you know, you're devoted to something or someone Maybe there's something that you need to decide, you know, sort of sort things out in a way. So you need to sort out maybe priorities. It could be that as well. Right. Let's have a look at your twin flame card. Do you have uh, three cup cards? Yes. So we have the three of autumn. Okay, so the three of autumn, of course, is coins. So that's like the three of coins. So this is about uh, follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being uh, compensated for your creative talents. All right, so that's what it says on that card. But the three of coins, of course, is uh, being recognised for, for what you do as well. Um, sort of being admired and sort of complimented by the, the sort of work you do, whatever that is for you, Libra, okay? Um, I think whatever it is you do is very um, creative, artistic or creative in some way. Um, I say it's, it's sort of like it's maybe it's got a wow factor about it as well for some of you. Okay, so that's uh, what I'm getting from that card. And that could even be you you and your work or your business, your job, whatever it is that, that could be you sort of complementing each other, you know, like you sort of go hand in hand with whatever it is that you do. And you, whatever it is you do, you do it very well. All right, Libra. Okay, so I hope that made sense <laughs> to you in some way. Okay, so I'll leave that there for you. As I said, my readings are sort of quite a lot shorter now. And um, I'll be back with your December readings very soon. So please do take care. God bless and uh, enjoy your November. Bye, Libra.